This is Ryan Thomas with UNDAthletics.com, joined by Javier Steinwasher of the UND men's soccer team, uh, coming off a 3-0 win over William Jewell tonight. And uh, Javier, you got, uh, you got a goal early in the second period. You guys uh, you know, snapped a two-game winless, uh, winless skid, picked up your first conference win of the year, and uh, you did it uh, in your home opener too. Just how big was it for you guys uh, to get started uh, this weekend on the right foot and get that first conference win? You know, it was, uh, it was a good result. I'm happy with it. Happy to get my first goal here at home. Um, especially after our last weekend where I thought we were the better team in both games. We just couldn't get on the board. And tonight we were able to finish. We took care of the opportunities that we had and took care of business. Kind of walk me through that uh, that goal that you scored, uh, a tremendous individual effort. You were able to wrestle the ball away from a couple of, couple of defenders. And uh, it was also a real big you know, goal as far as where it was at in the game. Just less than five minutes into the second half, just kind of walk, uh, walk uh, everybody through it. Well, uh, I saw the play was building up on the side, and uh, ball went into Keona Khan, and there was a little bit of a lane, so I showed into it, not knowing if I was going to get it or not. He played it, had the guy on my back. I just tried to turn him. Ball, I turned him, ball's in front of me. Saw another guy coming, just tried to get it away from him. Got it past him, and I was one-on-one with the goalie, and just put it, put it away. And, you know, you got, like you said a little bit ago, you guys, you thought that you guys were the better team in uh, both of your games last weekend, uh, weren't able to find the back of the net. So to be able to, you know, not only continue your guys' recent stretch of you know, quality play, but find the back of the net as well three times is, uh, uh, three times on the night. Um, just talk about, you know, what was, what was kind of the difference as far as, uh, you know, this weekend as opposed to last. You know, uh, last weekend we, we just had a good week of training, or last week, not weekend, but... Uh, and this week we just we were outstanding in training. We've been one thing we were really working on was the final product because we were doing everything to get in front of goal and we just couldn't score. This week we were really working on that and it uh, it showed tonight. All right, Javi, thank you. All right, thank you. I'm joined by the head coach of the UNI men's soccer team, John Higgins. Uh, coach, coming off uh, a weekend in which you said yourself that you, you know you played two really really good games, just couldn't find the the back of the net. Come back home, get on your home turf, and you pop three in, uh, three in the back of the net, pick up your first conference win of the year. Just uh, you know, how how'd you feel about uh, the guys' performance tonight? Um, I thought it was like I thought it was efficient. I didn't think we were at our best. Uh, we talked about being clinical in that final third, and I thought we were tonight. You know, we we took our chances. We hit the post a couple of times. It could have been more, but you know, it's a sign of a good good team. I think when we're not quite at our best still being able to produce like a really good result and we needed a result after last weekend so you uh you, you know come home you get three goals you know after going scoreless in the first two but not just that on the defensive end you hold william jewel to no shots on a goal throughout the game um you know you were kind of taking uh andy duncan made his first start of the year uh at center back you know just how'd you uh how'd, how'd you feel about the the back four and uh, and your holding midfielders and how they were able to keep the ball away from uh from miles tonight in that back six we had andy duncan start tonight keanu can start his first ever game tonight as well so we've had a couple of injuries we've you know we've had to move people around it was really nice to build off of that clean sheet we got against s and t we kind of pride ourselves on you know, being very good defensively. So it's been nice for us to have two in a row now. That's something, again, you know, we want to always, we've put such a focus on scoring goals that we don't want to forget about, you know, doing it on the other side of the ball. So I mean, it was credit to the guys for, you know, another clean sheet. That's something that, again, you know, we can build on. So, you know, Sunday's the big one. Uh, top two, the two teams predicted to finish one and two in the GLVC. Uh, you get Rockhurst on your home uh, on your home turf on Sunday. Uh, you know, I know that you've turned three, you know, you know, three quality performances in a row, uh, and you're going into uh, to this one with with the Hawks. Uh, just you know how, uh, how how pumped are you guys to to get back out on the field? I don't think we'll have any issues getting our guys up for that one. I mean, our guys know how big that is, and it's that's that's a credit to Rockers for that. That, that we're so fired up for it. I mean, they're a fantastic program. They've been you know they were the standard for everybody in the GLVC last year, and if if we want to go and do. What we want to do, we have to we have to show that we can play with those guys on Sunday. All right. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. All right. This has been Ryan Thomas for UNDAthletics.com. Thanks for watching.